Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, today I get to share with you one of my favorite Proverbs, probably what I would call one of my life verses. Proverbs 16, 9 says, In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Uh, sometimes, some translations actually say Lord establishes his steps, but either way, uh, that verse has just really informed my life. Now, let me tell you what it doesn't mean, because some people go, what, does that mean we're puppets? Does that mean we don't have a choice? Does that mean we can just do whatever we want and God has the outcome determined anyway? No, it does not mean any of those things. Here's what it does mean. It means when we seek God, when we're trying to follow Jesus, uh, that we don't have to be afraid to fail. We don't have to be afraid to make a mistake. We don't have to be afraid to even go the wrong direction if we're trying to follow Jesus because God is involved and God will direct your steps and he will redeem your life. It means we can live life courageously because we trust God's direction and God's redemption. Uh, I've shared this before uh, several times, but uh, it's where this verse comes into play for me. Uh, when I came to Calvary, I never expected that I would end up in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. That was a surprise. The Lord directed my steps. And, and, but when I came here, honestly, my plan was not to stay here. I was planning to be here for three or four years, learn how to be a pastor, make mistakes, and then move on to, as I used to put it, a real church in a real city. And God's plans were different than my plans. And thankfully, uh, I was willing to follow Jesus and stay where I am. And, and I've seen God do amazing things. God has blessed in incredible ways. And, and he's gotten to bless me and my family. And he's blessed through us, uh, this community. And so I praise God that in my heart, I planned my course. But the Lord determined and directed my steps. So I trusted God. And what I'm telling you is you can too. You really can't. It means having to lay your dreams at the feet of Jesus and say, these are my dreams, but your plans are better than my plans. Your direction is better than my direction, and I will trust you. And here's the thing, if I trusted God, you can trust God too. So today, I'm praying that you can relax, you can seek God, you, you determine that you're going to try your best to follow Jesus, and then you're just going to leave the rest to him. I hope that blesses you, and I hope you have a great day. God bless, Calvary.